Hello and welcome back to Project 3A. In this video, I'm going to be installing a genuine Mazda window regulator to the Mark 1. The other day I was driving to work and wanted a little bit of fresh air so I decided to crack the window. I grabbed hold of the window winder and bang! The window dropped and now it moves freely. And what has caused this is the cable snapping. So I need to replace this with a brand new window mechanism or window regulator. I've purchased this from MX5 parts and for a Mark 1 right hand side regulator this is the part number. So as you can see, all the door card and the weather proofing is removed. I removed all of this at work to find out what had gone wrong and what parts I needed. So because all of that is already removed, I'm gonna be reverting to an old video where I previously removed this door card. To start things off, we need to get this whole door card off. I'm gonna start off with the door pull. This is only held on with one screw right in here. And it's actually easier to lock the door first to gain access to this screw. Make sure you unlock it again before you lock yourself out of the car. Now the door handle itself, this is held on with three screws. One here, one here, and one underneath this little bit of plastic. Be careful removing this plastic as you can mark the handle around it. Now, if you've got manual windows, we need to remove the window winder. This can be a little bit tricky, but if you grab a cloth and work it behind it, that'll work this pin down and allow the window winder to pop off. Then remove this little plastic ring as well. The Mark 1 door cards are just held on with plastic poppers all the way around. Just be gentle popping these out, as this door card is only a bit of plyboard and tends to bend really easily. Now the door card should just slide up and off the door. Behind that door card is a load of weatherproofing and that's just stuck to the door with some semi tacky bonding solution. We do need this off, but we need to remove the door handle first as it bolts through the weather sheet. With that out of the way, we can remove this weather sheet and pull the door pull through the access hole in the weather sheet. Be careful when you're pulling this off, this black sticky stuff gets absolutely everywhere. With that all out of the way, we now need to remove the window. And I'm first going to remove those two little stops down there, one here and one there. They're just a 10 mil bolt. We now need to unscrew the window from the mechanism and there's three screws, one here, one there, and one behind here. And to gain access to that, we need to move the window. But because the wire's broken, we can't use the window winder. So we're gonna have to force that window down. And now we should be able to pull that window out of the door. With the window out of the way, we can now work on removing that old broken regulator. Mine is a manual window, so I'm going to start with the manual window winder here. That's just held on with three 10mm nuts. You may notice whether you've got the manual one or the electric one, that the motor and mechanism cannot pass through this hole. Because it goes between the door and this pillar that holds the quarter glass in, so we need to remove this pillar. That's held on with one nut down here one nut here and a couple of Phillips screws up here. Once you've removed that one Phillips screw up here, you can carefully peel this seal out and pull the seal off the front quarter glass, revealing a second Phillips screw underneath. With those screws out of the way, you're left with the two 10 mil bolts, but be careful when you undo these, this pillar is gonna move and just be ready because this glass will probably fall. So just keep one hand on this glass. With that pillar out of the way, the mechanism is now free to move in the door. 
The mechanism that runs up and down the door here is held in with two nuts up here and two bolts there. And all four of those should be a 14 mil. <laughs> Using a pair of needle nose pliers, there's some little plastic fittings here, and there used to be one here, which you just need to squeeze together and push through the door. These are what's holding the cable in place inside the door. With the regulator all loose now, you should be able to grab it and wiggle it out of this hole. Oh no. Definitely time for a new one. The new regulator fits in exactly the same as the old one came out. These four nuts that hold on the main part of the regulator just nip up for now as they may need a little bit of adjusting side to side. With that all installed and the winder temporarily back on, we can wind it up and down a few times. Then we can make sure it's all aligned and do up all the bolts we've left loose. And reinstall the window stops. With all that tightened up, just double check the window still moves as it should and stops where it should. With the window all working again and the window aligned, it's now time to put the weatherproofing on and the door card. That is reinstalled the exact same way it came out. But I'll be honest, when I was taking this door card off, it actually broke. So I'm gonna have to go home and find a new door card. But here's a clip of me reinstalling the door card earlier on this year. The first thing you want to reinstall is the weatherproofing sheet. Feed the door handle through the sheet first. Now try and stick this back on and realign it the best you can. Make sure it's pressed down all the way along and then bolt back on the door handle. Now for the door card, if you've broken any of these clips on the back, make sure you replace them and make sure they're sitting in the door card correctly. And then you can hook it into the door and pop it back on. Then the door handle could go on. And then the door release surround. Don't forget to unlock it again. And then the window winder. Don't forget to put the little plastic washer back on, reinstall the retaining clip back in the window winder and wiggle the window winder back on. So that's a broken window regulator replaced with a nice genuine new one and the window's all working again. If this video helped you fit your window regulator to your Mark 1, let me know in the comments down below. As per usual, like and share this video, subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in the next one.